In this week's mini documentary, we're going to hear what the public has to say about the concept of death. Uh, I just think death is just the end. You know, blackout. You know, what, like, who were you before you were born? Is you exactly who you're going to be when you're dead? If you don't live a proper way of life, you either go to heaven or you go to hell. So I think people get so consumed with the idea that you could go to this place called hell and it's like, it's forever. So yeah. I think that's what scares me the most about death anyway. Uh, honestly, it might sound bad to a lot of people, yeah, but sure. I do believe that we're the same as any other animal. We just live and then we die. And You take a very positive view. Very positive. I embrace my death every day. I celebrate my funeral every day. Every time I walk with death beside me. Wow! Wow! Okay, that's quite... I feel like it might need more than 30 seconds. No comment. I don't know, like... I don't want to think about death. I don't you know. never think about it? No, I don't like... To, I don't choose to think about it. Whatever happens, happens, basically. Do you feel that once someone passes away, there is, uh, there is an afterlife? No, I think there is. I'm a Christian, so I, I believe that... that you know, you, you, there's something else um, after you die. Well, from the Buddhist point of view, dead is not the end of everything. Dead is just a transformation. It is normal that when a person is born and then one day, that person will die. So when we look from the Buddhist point of view, that is not a scary event. It's just a um, kind of transformation. Mm -hmm. So when a person dies, then that person will be reborn immediately because Buddhism believe in the cycle of birth and death. Loads of different cultures and loads of different countries kind of see death a lot differently but for me it's just kind of the end really like you have your life and then you live it and then you and die. Then is there a hereafter it's, it's a part of like, um, I'm kind of apathetic on the thing I think it's great if there is but if there isn't then I'm comfortable with that. When you pass away then you'll join all your loved ones in heaven so I think it's somewhat sad but also really beautiful I guess. So from a humanist perspective the view of death is that it is the end of life. There is nothing after death. It is the termination of your life forever. Stoics say if you want to know what it is like to be dead then close your eyes and clear your mind and try and remember what it was like before you were born. And that is what it's like to be dead. It's, I, I see it as like a dessert. Why do you eat a dessert? At the end, you know it's going to be gone, but you eat it because you're going to enjoy it through the whole way. So taking as much away from it as you can. So in the end, the dessert's going to be gone, just how life is, but you might as well use as much of it as you can and take as much away from it as you possibly can. Dr. Wells, uh, what is the uh, Christian viewpoint on the concept of death? Death is final, ultimate, complete, and total. That's the first thing to say. The second thing to say is that because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Christians can have faith that God will remake them uh, out of all in their life that has turned to God. God will, will remake them uh, into a resurrected body uh, after, uh, after the form of Christ's body. Do you think that to believe in the hereafter, that is central to believe in an almighty being as well, in a God as well? I don't feel God is um, something out up in the sky. I think God is within each and every individual. He's with us right now in this present moment. And if you know that that's where you're going to go um, and you're, you're aware of that knowledge, then what is there to fear? What is there to you know, worry about? When, are you ever, when you get to that stage, are you even going to remember this life? What is the Islamic viewpoint on the concept of death? Islam believes that this life is limited and this life is just one stage of one's, one's expanded life, as you say. And after this life ends in this world, the next stage is the hereafter, where you're judged according to your deeds, what, you've, what, you, what you have done in this world, and God judges you whether you deserve a place in heaven or you go through the process of hell and eventually lead, uh, lead to heaven itself. So as the body perishes, mm -hmm. the soul continues to live. Mm -hmm. And that shows you that the journey in Islam is not limited to this world, but actually there's a bigger, a greater thing, a greater objective 
that one needs to achieve and that's the relationship that it needs to build with God Almighty. And would you think that is the purpose of life then as well? Without a doubt. The purpose of life is not to aim for a heaven or a hell, but the purpose of life is to build that connection, worship that creator who created us, which is God Almighty. And that is a great purpose in life. That covers your morals, that covers your spirituality, that covers, you know, just day to day being good to people. But it's a purpose. And when you have a purpose, you always want to strive and better yourself.